you know, we had several conversations with, with teams on, you know, multiple positions and um, just, you know, the, the price point didn't match up and, you know, things, you know, just didn't work out. But, you know, we were active with phone calls and, you know, trying to improve the roster, which we'll continue to do. Yeah, wide receiver were part of the conversations, but so we're, you know, again, we had other, I'm not going to go in every position that we were talking about. Again, we were, we were just trying to add good players, whether it was front line or, or depth players. So, you know, the, the problem is there's, there's a lot of teams that are still in it, you know, where we are um, in the season. So not a lot of teams are sellers, um, you know, teams are banged up. So there's just, there's not a surplus of players that are available. It's a small pool and, you know, it only takes one team to, to outbid you or, or go higher. But, um, you know, where we are receiver wise, again, um, you know, the guys have played, um, you know, had good games, bad games, you know, Jacksonville, we'd like to have some of those, those back and, you know, some of those drops, but, um, you know, Kenny's hopefully coming back soon. Um, fingers are crossed. He'll be back for, for Houston. So it'd be good to get a look at him again. Um, you know, again, I'm, 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 hope, I'm hopeful for him, you know, against Houston. When we made the, the, you know, the Tony move, we talked to the captains and, you know, let them know we're always going to try to win. Like Dayball and I are super competitive and we're always going to try to do what's best for the organization. But again, you got to put a value. You just can't be reckless with those, you know, the draft picks, the future capital, you know, where we are as we, as we build this team. Again, there's, there's a lot of players that are, that are here that we like. Um, some were here before I got here that have done a really good job for us and they're good players. So, um, you know, just, just being smart. You know, we didn't want to be reckless with it. And, again, if there was an opportunity where we could make a move that would help us this year, we were definitely open to it. No, obviously, you know, he's been a good player. He's a guy, you know, we would consider and talk to um, when he's healthy. Uh, I think he did the ACL in, in February. So um, not sure really where he is, um, you know, physically. But, yeah, any player that uh, – upgrade the roster we're going to we're going to consider and have conversations with their representatives it is hard to tell early in the year and it's my point just trying to figure out who the team is who they're going to be and we got some fighters on this roster and as a whole as a collective you know on game day the, the 53 the practice squad um they competed their tails off and they play well together um uh, complimentary football so again like yeah, maybe early on in the year, maybe the middle class, you know, the roster maybe wasn't where I thought it should be. I, you know, I think it's we've upgraded a little bit um, in the next man mentality up with, with the injuries that we've had. You know, I think, again, back to the coaching staff and the, the pro scouting staff have done a great job of bringing players in that have, have answered the bell when their number was called.